Praise the Lord Jesus. We're living minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, brethren. And we take nothing for granted. That's how God good, uh, goodness is towards us. And uh, the Lord has a word for his people today. And he'll never fail us to come to his house. And he doesn't have a word for us. A word of comfort. A word of understanding. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we want to receive that word with all our hearts, with all our soul, with all our might. Praise the Lord Jesus and honor God in all that we do. Coming to us right now with the unadulterated word of Almighty God to instruct his people, none other than our pastor, Dr. Colin Colley. Please put your hands together for him. Praise him. Praise he the Lord. A mighty God deserves a mighty praise. A strong God deserves a strong praise. Hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise he the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord again to be in his house. It is almost a year that the Lord has been good to us again. Praise God. Not only that we are alive, but we are in the, his, our right minds. Praise God. And we have the desire to worship him. Amen. For that I give him the praise and the glory and the honor. Amen. Every time I get a chance to praise him, I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord again for this day that the Lord hath made. Greetings to Elder Lloyd. Come on, give the Lord thanks in the name of the Lord. Amen. And, and to the entire ministerial staff of this great church. Give the Lord thanks for the ministerial staff of this great house. Amen to all the mothers and fathers of the house. Amen to the saints of the most high God. Amen. Those that are visiting with us, we salute you in the wonderful name, the name of Jesus. Give the Lord thanks to Mother Ricketts in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We want to thank God for Sister Shirley Johnson that she's back in the house. Amen. She was sick and Amen. The Lord has brought her back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Down from his glory. Ever living story. My God and Savior came. And Jesus is his name. Born in a manger. To his own a stranger. A man of sorrow, tears, and agony. But then the writer said, oh, oh, how I love him. How I adore him. My breath. My sunshine. My all in all. He said, the great creator became my savior. And all God's fullness dwell in him praise god listen to the revelation of the hymnist the great creator became my savior and all god's goodness dwelleth in him thank god for that revelation if you have your bibles to saint john chapter one St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. Praise God. Uh, 
We are reading verse 1. 1, 1. Let's read together in the house. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Praise God. In the beginning. Praise God. Praise God. Over to chapter 4 of St. John's Gospel also. And verse 14. And it reads together, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into eternal life. Praise God. And the theme is coming from verse 1 of chapter 1. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was God. Praise God. And the word was God. Shout a hallelujah and take your seats in the awesome presence of Almighty God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The Word, the Word was made flesh. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. He is the primary figure in the entire Bible. The Old Testament promises his coming. But the New Testament describes the arrival of the Son of God. The, the life of Jesus Christ is the manifestation of of the divine life of Jehovah of the Old Testament. The word was made flesh and dwell among us. He is the very same God. That declare that before Abraham, I am. This Jesus that we present, he is the only being that possesses the attribute of self-existence. Nobody made him. He is God. He is the great Jehovah, Yahweh of the Old Testament that told Moses, I am that I am. From him, all other beings draw their sustenance and existence. There are two types of being on the universe. There is another being that needs the sustenance from another being in order to live. From the animal kingdom to the plant kingdom, there is a being that sustains them. But then there is an only being that does not need help from another. Hallelujah. For he alone possesses self-existence. He gives life to all creation. From the greatest object to the smallest particle. 
Amen. He is immortal. Amen. Can do all that of his good pleasure. And nothing can hinder him. That's why the theologians had to confess in the Belgian confession of 1618 and 1619 they had to declare who we believe with the heart and we confess with our mouth that there is one only simple and spiritual being which we call God and that he is eternal, incomprehensible, invisible, immortal, infinite, almighty, perfectly wise, perfectly just, perfectly good. Matthew saw him after he was drawn from the receipt of custom. And Matthew declared him as king of the Jews. Mark came along and Mark describes him as the servant of the living God. Luke the physician came and Luke says he is the son of God. But John came by who sat beside Jesus all the time and declare him to be the son of God and very God. Hallelujah. Praise God. For he said the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the father. Full of grace. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today a God whose name is Jesus. For the angel Gabriel came to Mary. Gabriel says, his name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins glory be to God and Mary was a bit confused because when the angels said you shall conceive Mary had to ask a question how shall this thing be but the angel assured her the Holy Ghost shall overshadow Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus. The name means Savior. Christ means the anointed. The Messiah. Praise God. It is the entrance of Jesus on this planet. That has brought hope to humanity. Bible says in the beginning was the word, the logos. Uh, the word logos means the spoken word, the, the thought performed, the thought before the performance. Amen. Uh, before this building, there was a thought. Ah, uh, before that instrument that Brother Michael sit before the keyboard, there was a thought. Amen. Uh, in other words, God had a thought. Praise God. His coming was not an after thought after Adam fell. But God, in his thought, in eternity, in the predetermined counsel of the Godhead, hallelujah, had purpose that he would deliver mankind. Hallelujah. Uh, John describes him also as the light of the world. 
The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it now. This is John writing in the New Testament. And it takes me back to Genesis 1-3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And that light that God said, let there be light, was himself. For the sun did not come until the fourth day. Hallelujah. John says, I be a witness of the light. But he said, I am not that light. I am only a witness to the light. Hallelujah. For he lighted every man that cometh into the world. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And he says, that is the true light. And when John saw the true light, then the next day John said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the whole world. Hallelujah. Jesus came and took the place of the sinner. Not only in death, but in also in life. That's why he's called the son of David, the, the son of man, the son of God. Hallelujah. That's why Nicodemus came and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is this Jesus that John says and tries to confirm because John is particular in his writing John says whatever I write in my narrative is to prove that Jesus Christ is God and that believing on his name you might have eternal life and so John now goes back and pulls, amen, the promises of the Old Testament, amen, to validate that Jesus Christ is the authentic God that is on the planet. Uh, that's why John goes back to the seven I am's to confirm what God told Moses and God said to Moses in Exodus 3 and verse 14 uh, amen I am that I am and he said thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel I am has sent me to you hallelujah so john picks up in john 6 and said jesus said i am the bread of life you can't eat me and don't have life hallelujah and john picks up in 8 and says jesus said i am the light of the world if you walk with me you cannot walk in darkness hallelujah then John went on in chapter 10 and said Jesus said I am the door of the sheepfold I will protect my sheep I stand at the door oh God from glory give me a better mic here this thing is bothering can I get an amen in the house shout a hallelujah in the house shout a glory Jesus said I am glory. amen the, amen the door of the sheep hallelujah glory be to God and when Jesus is the door of the sheepfold you are well protected no predator can pass Jesus hallelujah no lion no bear can pass Jesus to devour the sheep oh glory be to God for the purpose of the shepherd is to protect the sheep oh good God from glory and then Jesus declare again I am the good shepherd hallelujah and he said I'm such a good shepherd I'll give my life for the sheep hallelujah I'm not a hireling I'm a good shepherd for the hireling see the wolf coming and he's gonna run but the good shepherd oh God 
go against us, a wolf. Hallelujah. Then John said, Jesus did not stop there with the I am. He went on to say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you find me, you find the way to God. If you find me, you find truth. If you find me, you find life. For I am come that he might have life and have it more abundantly. Do I have a weakness in the house? Hallelujah. Then John said, Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Any, 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 any branch that is on my vine, hallelujah, will survive because I'll purge that vine, that branch, that it bring forth fruit, hallelujah. And Jesus declared, your fruit shall remain because I am the husband man. Shout a hallelujah. Then John said, Jesus said unto Mary and Martha, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and abideth in me shall never die. Hallelujah. As many that have Jesus cannot die. Oh, hallelujah. For Jesus said, I am that resurrection. Come on, shout a hallelujah. Then John says that Jesus did many miracles. But John said, I select seven of the miracles to show the power of the omniscient God. Hallelujah. And John writes and says that Jesus did his first public miracle in Cain of Galilee. He did many other miracles at Mary and Martha, at Mary and Joseph home. Mary know a lot of things that Jesus did. But John says, I did not write about those, but I write about these that you might believe that any situation you have, this God can deliver you. Hallelujah. There is no darkness that this light cannot shine in. There is no tunnel that this power cannot walk through. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. He is almighty. Somebody shout almighty is in the hand. Hallelujah. So John says Jesus attended the wedding in Cana, Galilee. And when the wine was out, Mary just said, go tell Jesus. The reason why Mary could instruct the attendants is because Mary saw some things that Jesus did at home. Oh God, when no flower was at home, Jesus said flower and flower appear. When no oil was at home, Jesus said oil and oil appear. When no bread is at home, Jesus said bread. Oh God, shout a hallelujah, shout a hallelujah, tell your neighbor the word became flesh, hallelujah, and then John said, there was a noble man whose son was sick and came to Jesus, and all Jesus did was said to the man, go home deacon, your son is well, hallelujah. And the man went home, checked in the hotel the night. The next morning, his servant came and said, Sir, your son is well. And he asked the servant, At what time? 
time uh, the delay began to make amend uh, and the servant said yesterday uh, at certain hour uh, and the nobleman knew uh, it was the same hour uh, that Jesus said uh, go home uh, oh God uh, we got a God uh, that can speak uh, from the distance uh, can I get a witness uh, oh God uh, hallelujah uh, if God said go uh, just keep on going if God said walk just keep on walking something will happen hallelujah then John captures the paralyzed man at Bethesda that we addressed last week when impotent meet omnipotent then John writes again that there was a service a teaching convention hallelujah and the people were hungry and the disciples were concerned where are we going to find food and Jesus just took a few loaves and a few fish God creator and he began to break and while he was breaking something miraculous was happening in the hand of God once you're in the hand of God miracle must happen hallelujah even bread in the hand of God see miracle even fish in the hand of God see miracle if grant is in the hand of God miracle is in your life if stars is in the hand of God you will see miracle come on shout a hallelujah tell your neighbor I'm in the hand of God and as long as I'm in the hand of God miracle is in my life morning by morning new mercies I see all that I needed thy hands has provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me shout hallelujah my God and so John says again that Jesus when they look at Jesus he was walking and all of a sudden the sea was before him and Jesus kept on walking hallelujah and the sea became a pavement as God walked upon the water hallelujah good God only God can walk upon water. Come on, shout a hallelujah. Shout a glory. And John says, there was a man born blind. And Jesus, just look at him. Touch his eyes. Hallelujah. And he begin to see. It doesn't matter what darkness you're in. If God touch you, amen, light will will come shout a hallelujah and then John said Lazarus was dead for four days and then Jesus showed up hallelujah and when Jesus showed up Mary and Martha amen was very concerned that Jesus came after four days but when Martha came and Mary they were angry with Jesus but Jesus said Martha and Mary I am the resurrection hallelujah and the life if you believe in me amen you cannot die it is this Jesus that John says told them roll the stone away and when they roll the stone away Jesus just called for Lazarus and Lazarus amen came out of the sepulcher for when God called come on beloved Jesus who walked among men Jesus 
Jesus lived among men. But when he opened his mouth, he talked like God. Hallelujah. Come on, shout a hallelujah. The word was made flesh. He was a human child, but a divine son. Hallelujah. He was wounded. Amen. Yet he crushed the head of Satan. He died and was buried, but he raised himself up again. Hallelujah. He was the incarnate wisdom of God. Hallelujah. He was Lord of the Sabbath. Amen. He was the Prince of Life. He spoke as never a man spoke. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness in the house? Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. God. Emmanuel. God with us. Jesus. The eternal God. Tabernacled among men. Hallelujah. Good God. What they call him? Jesus. Anywhere you turn. You find Jesus. They call him Adam. They call him advocate. They call him the anointed. They call him the apostle. They call him amen. But he call himself Alpha. Can I get a witness in there? They call him the beginning. They call him the begotten. They call him the beloved. They call him a branch. They call him bread. They call him bridegroom. They call him the bishop of our soul. But the church call him Jesus. Let the church say Jesus. Can I get a witness in there? Call him Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the day star. Hallelujah. He is the day spring. Come on. He is the door. He is the desire of the nation. He is the finisher. Come on. He is the faithful witness. He is our helper. He is our I am. He is our Judah. He is our king. He is our lie. Do I have a witness in the house? Open your mouth and shout Jesus. The messenger. Come on, the master. The offspring of David. The stone that the builder refused has become the head of the stone. He is a true witness. Shout the glory. He is from the highest, yet he comes to the lower. Shout hallelujah. Good God, Jesus. Where is he? The angel said to Manoah, my name is a secret. Don't ask the name. Oh, everywhere I look, I find Jesus. I find him hidden in Jordan as the seed of the woman. Shout yeah. I find him in Exodus as the Passover lamb. I search in Leviticus and he is my high priest. Can I get a witness? I check numbers and he's the pillar of cloud that move by day and night. I check Deuteronomy and he's the, the prophet like unto Moses. But Moses declared the Lord shall raise up a prophet like unto me. Him shall you hear shall glory in Joshua. He is the captain of the salvation of the whole. In judges, he is the king's man redeemer. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. Somebody shout Jesus. In Ezra, he's hidden in Ezra. As the faithful scribe, he's hidden in New Maya. As the rebuilder of the broken wall. You got any broken walls in your life? Jesus is the rebuilder of every broken walls in your life. Come on. The devil fought you. The devil attack you. Break down your wall. But I declare to you that the rebuilder is in the house. Come on. Open your mouth. Let the devil know my walls are going to be rebuilt. Come on. Shout hallelujah. You fought all 
up through the year 2008 many wars some bullets hit your walls and your walls are down but today the rebuilder of the walls is in the hand hallelujah shout let the enemy hear my walls are going up again hallelujah my protection is back in my life shout hallelujah shout glory be to God do I have a weakness in the house do I have a weakness in the house somebody shout Jesus he will be the judge of the world amen praise God he is the designer of all design he is the lawmaker of all laws he is the creator of all creation do I have a witness he is the supreme fact of history the supreme fact of science hallelujah the supreme fact of philosophy my God shout Jesus in here Jesus oh God God in Jesus God tabernacle in mortality divinity amen enclosed in mortality Jesus look at his beauty inexpressible look at his purity incorruptible look at his majesty indescribable look at his authority immeasurable look at his memory immutable God cannot forget hallelujah oh God can I get a witness come on can I get a witness in here tell your neighbor God cannot forget Jesus he's nigh to them that have a broken heart if you are sick he is the great physician if you live in solitude Jesus is always nearby He's omnipresent. If you're poor, he is your riches. He said, I am the pearl of great price. Do I have a witness? Jesus, he counts your steps. He numbers the hair on your head. Hallelujah. He marks the sparrows that fall. None dare not fall without his permission somebody said Jesus he fills the heaven and the earth at the same time what a God hallelujah but listen what the scripture says when Jesus was born there came wise men from the east to worship him they came to Herod's palace where kings or princesses are born. And they said, where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east. And we have come to worship. Jesus, God allow one star out of the billions to be a witness that the Savior, the Messiah has come. God speak to one star out of the billion and said, you shall be my witness on the planet. And the wise men tapped in and knew that the star indicate a king is born. Hallelujah. Kings don't born. You're made king. But this Jesus was already king in eternity. He just stepped into time with the same title. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Do I have a witness in the house? Amen. The Bible says when, when Herod asked his wise men where Jesus should be born, where the Messiah should be born, they came back with the right information. And then when Herod told, Herod said to the wise men, he says, now go search diligently for the young child. And when, when you find the young child, bring me words again that I may go and worship him also. At that time, Herod's heart was in trouble because when they said, oh, a king is born, Herod thought somebody has arisen to dethrone him. But Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Oh, God. And the Bible says when, when, the, when the wise men left the palace, the star reappeared. Amen. And, and guide them. Now, the beauty about the wise men it's that they did not just sit under the light of the glory of the star. They moved with the star. The star led them. And they followed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the Bible said that when they found the young child. Amen. They, they worship. Amen. You can't discover Jesus and don't worship. You can find God and don't worship. Hallelujah. When they saw the young child, they worship. Hallelujah. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the wise men and warned them, go home another way. Don't go back. Praise God. When Herod found out that he was mocked by the wise men, the Bible said Herod was, was angry. He was angry. He thought he could kill the Messiah. Praise God. But the Messiah is before Herod. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph and said, take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. But Jesus came. Balaam saw something. For Balaam said, there shall come a star out of Judah. And a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Praise God. So the star out of Judah has come. And the scepter has arisen out of Israel. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that there was no open vision in those days. But now the star in the east has brought some men to worship hallelujah David in the spirit he declared in Psalm 85 David said surely his salvation is nigh unto them that fear him and his glory shall dwell in the land it is the coming of Jesus that David declare that mercy and truth have met each other. It is the coming of Jesus that David prophesy that righteousness and peace have kissed each other. For without mercy and truth reconcile, without righteousness and peace reconcile, there cannot be salvation. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Oh God from glory. That's why John is particular in saying that Jesus and this particular day, hallelujah, was traveling with his disciples. Amen. And Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go through Samaria. 
Hallelujah. My God, for the Jews and the Samaritans were at odds with each other. Amen. The Jews despised the Samaritans. But Jesus said to his disciples, you go and buy meat. I'm going through Samaria. And the Bible said that Jesus came to a place called Sychar. Hallelujah. Oh God, he's weary from his journey. Hallelujah. This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. He did not ride a horse. Amen. Neither was he driven in a chariot. His feet was weary from traveling. But the Bible says he came to a well and he sat upon the well. Hallelujah. And the Bible said there came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that when she came near, Jesus said to her, give me the drink. And the woman looked at him and said, sir, the well is deep. Hallelujah. Come on, beloved. But Jesus began to talk to her. And Jesus said, woman, if you know who is it that is talking with you, you would have asked of him to give you living water. For this water that is in Jacob's well, when you drink it, you're going to be thirst again. But the water that I have, hallelujah. Come on, beloved. When the woman was through dialoguing with Jesus, I heard the Samaritan, the heathen, the pagan woman, the worship of idolatry on Mount Garrison looked at Jesus and said, I perceive that thou art a prophet. I heard that a Messiah will come. And when he comes, he's going to tell us all things. I heard Jesus say, woman, the man you're looking at, he said, I am he. I am the Messiah. Shout a hallelujah. Oh God, look at this woman, a sinner before a savior. Look at this woman, a captive of sin and Satan before the mighty deliverer. Look at this woman, heavy laden in sin, in darkness, within, without, before the great I am. Come on. Hallelujah. And now the woman said, look at her. She's a broken sister standing before the fountain of living water. Hallelujah. I'm talking to some hungry folks, thirsty soul in this house. You drink water, you drink beer, you drink alcohol, you smoke, but you're thirsty. Hallelujah. Look at the woman broken in heart. Hallelujah. The Bible said she has had five husbands and the one that she's with is not her. She's broken. Hallelujah. But she's standing at the right place before the deliverer, the rebuilder, the sustainer. Come on. You're in the right place at the right time. In the right atmosphere. The glory is in the house. The anointing is in the house. The Shekinah is in the house. The light has come. And the glory of the Lord is in the house. 
shout hallelujah shout hallelujah good lord the woman said sir give me give me that water hallelujah give me that living water I want it is there anybody in the house asking Jesus asking the savior asking the deliverer asking the sustainer asking the creator give me that living water I'm thirsty hallelujah for the Bible said when the woman tasted the water she dropped come on she came with an empty picture with an empty heart hallelujah but now her heart her empty heart was filled with living water he didn't want the picture anymore she dropped the picture her heart was full she ran into the street and said come see a man which told me all I did is this not the Christ hallelujah somebody shout a hallelujah living water somebody shout living water you can't taste this and it doesn't affect you living water you can't drink from the fountain and remain sad living water you can't drink from the fountain of eternal youth and don't see the difference what the bible said he beautify the meek with salvation it's the living water come on below look at your neighbor and say neighbor look at me I don't even look like what I'm going through it's because I'm drinking from another fountain hallelujah I found the fountain of life I found the fountain of resurrection I found the fountain of joy with joy shall he draw water out of the well of salvation Jesus is in the house the living water is in the house shout a hallelujah shout a glory when you drink the living water it cancels the desire for alcohol can I get a witness when you taste the living water it cancels the desire for cigarette come on when you taste the living water it cancels the desire for drugs hallelujah come on when you taste the living water it cancels the rewind of history that plagues your mind can I get a witness when you drink of the living water it cancels the guilt that you walk with and the condemnation for the Bible said there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death so sin and death cannot control you when you drink from the living water open your mouth and declare it in the atmosphere Jesus has come and my cup has overrun hallelujah shall come on Zion the living water it shall be in you a well springing up spring 
bring it up. Hallelujah. It cannot dry. It just spring up. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Let it spring up. Spring up. Oh well. Hallelujah. So the coming of Jesus was to restore and to give us back the well that the devil stone in. Hallelujah. The coming of Jesus was on this wise that the man can be connected back to God. The coming of Jesus was not for commercialization. It was not to hang Christmas trees. Come on beloved. But God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. Hallelujah. The word became flesh and dwell among us and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Jesus is the full manifestation of God of the invisible God. When you see Jesus you see God. Come on shout a hallelujah shout a hallelujah he is very God come on he is the creator of everything visible and invisible whether there be thrones or dominions or principality or powers all things was made by him and by him all things can see Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the God of the universe, the Almighty, the Creator of the ends of the earth. He knows the end from the beginning. His name is Jesus. He's in the house. He's the Lord of the Sabbath. He's the head of the church. He's the judge of the world. He is the rebuilder of your life. He said, come on to me, all ye that are labored and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come take my yoke and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, come on to me, the spirit and the bride. Say, come, and thee that is a third, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price for he said I have become your sacrifice I have become your deliverer I have become your upper taker I have become your healer I have become your riches I have become your joy shout hallelujah shout glory His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Let the church shout Jesus. Jump to your feet everybody. In this house. He's in the house. He's so nigh. He's right beside you. That's how close he is. He's right beside you. Right now. Koshanda. He's right beside you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Shataba Bahus. Aya Bahus. Shanda Babakus. Shanda Babakus. Ah, Kasha. Yea, Jesus. The deliverer is here. The word made flesh. You're thirsty. You need a drink. Hallelujah. Come and dine, the master call. Come and dine. 
You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. Manda Bahusha. Kusha Hallelujah. Oh. Ushabahosa. He's Lord, he's Lord. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Beloved, in my closing, the, the irony about this whole manifestation of God. Of all the places on the planet, when Herod decided to kill the baby, you wonder why God would send him to Egypt. For Egypt is the enemy of God and the Israelites. So why would God send him to the enemies? And there are other ally nations around. But God particularly sent him into Egypt. To tell us that when you have Jesus, you can reside in the enemy's territory and they can't hurt you. Hallelujah. Once you have Jesus, you can live where the enemy live and they can't hurt you. Praise God. That's what David is saying. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. I don't have to be afraid. If Jesus is with me, if Jesus is with you, you can live in the midst of the enemy. And don't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 Daniel survived in Babylon. Joseph survived in Egypt. For the Bible said, and God was with Joseph. The delivery is here. Come on, beloved. The delivery is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. What condescension. Bringing us redemption. That in the dead of night. Not one faint hope in sight. God gracious tender. Lay aside his splendor. Stooping to woo to win. To save my soul. Without reluctance. Flesh and blood. His substance. He took the form of man. Revealed his hidden plan. Oh glorious mystery. Sacrifice of Calvary. And now I know. Thou art the great. I am. And the songwriter said, Oh, how, how I adore him. My breath, my sunshine, my all in all, the great creator became my savior and all God's fullness. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. We invite you to just taste Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just taste Jesus. The great creator became and
and all. Yeah. 